On number seven, statement one says L is parallel to M. We have this up top under given. So I'm just gonna write given right here. We also have on step two, it says angle one is congruent to angle five. Let's just circle these up here. One would be congruent to five because of the alternate interior theorem. They're alternating sides. They're on the inside of the two parallel lines. Alternate, alternate interior angles theorem. The net number three, it says given. I've used the L is congruent to M already for given. So the part that I need to write on number three would be P is parallel to Q. Next, I'm going to use the corresponding angles theorem. Now I have one is congruent to five and I need to get one is congruent to four. So if I can show five is congruent to four, then I can use the transitive property to show one is congruent to four. Five would be congruent to four. And we just, uh, and that would be because of the corresponding angles theorem. And since one is congruent to five and five is congruent to four, one would have to be congruent to four because of the transitive property of equality. On number eight, we have two parallel lines. And I'm just gonna extend these out. These are my two lines, but I have two transversals. One is here and one is here. So with the parallel lines, alternate interior angles are congruent. So if this right here is 120, X would have to be 120 as well. Now I have to be careful because this line here is not parallel to this line here. So I cannot say that 120 is not equal to 50 because these two lines are not parallel. We have these two, and this is shown by these two little arrows here. That means parallel lines. Since 50 and Y are the same side interior, this is the transversal of two different parallel lines. 50 plus Y has to equal 180. So Y would equal 130 degrees because of the same side interior angles theorem. Looking at number nine, we have two parallel lines. We're gonna extend these lines out. And let's look at this transversal over here, this blue transversal line. We have X and X plus 40 and those are going to be supplementary. Let's add those up to equal 180 degrees. So our equation is x plus x plus 40 equals 180. We're going to combine like terms. x plus x gives us 2x plus 40. That equals 180 degrees. I want my x's alone, so I'm going to subtract 40 degrees from both sides. We get 2x equals 140. So we need to figure out how much each x is worth. Two times some number x equals 140. We're going to do the opposite of multiply, which is divide both sides by two, and x would equal 70. We have two parallel blue lines, and let's draw our transversal in the pink. 2y minus 15 plus 3y is going to equal 180 degrees as well because they are same side interior. So we have 3y plus 2y minus 15 is going to equal 180. We're going to combine our like terms. 2y plus 3y gives us 5y minus 15 equals 180. We want to get the y's alone. We're going to add 15 to both sides. We get five times some number y equals 195. Divide both sides by five, and we get y equals 39. Now it also wants us to find the angles. If x is 70, 
we are going we have 70 degrees here 70 plus 40 would give us the bottom left angle which would be 110 3 times y is 3 times 39 would give us 117 degrees and if I take 2 times 39 minus 15, that gives us 63 degrees. On number 11, we have two parallel lines cut by a transversal. So these two angles are corresponding, so they are going to be equal. So 2x minus 7 is going to equal 3x minus 27. Let's minus 2x from both sides. 3x minus 2x gives us x. And then I'm going to rewrite the negative 7 on the left, 2x minus 2x cancel to be 0. And I'm just going to rewrite the negative 27. I add 27 to both sides. x is going to equal 20. So now that we know what x is, we need to find what our angles are. 2 times 20 is 40. 40 minus 7 is 33. Our top angle would be 33 degrees. Our bottom, we're going to take 3 times 20 is 60. 60 minus 27 gives us 33. And those two angles would be equal. Last one, we have two parallel lines cut by a transversal. These are same side interior. They're not equal, but they are do add up to 180 degrees. Same side interior equal 180 degrees. So 2x plus x minus 30 equals 180. 2x plus 1x gives us 3x. Rewrite the rest. We want to get our x's alone, so we're going to add both sides by 30. So I have 3 times some number x equals 210. I'm going to divide both sides by 3 and x would equal 70. Now I need to find out what each of these angles would be. Two times 70 would give me 140 degrees. And our x is 70 minus 30 would give me 40.